So we're going to analyze this engine leaning procedure here. Uh, the pilot on the right seat right now is doing the leaning and I asked him, hey, just lean the engine like you always done. So you can see he set the power, he went and pushed the engine lean, the power is stable, he's going fast, which so far is correct. The EGT is rising, but now he's going a little too fast and I don't think he's going to peak. So he saw an RPM drop and then started to enrich him. So right there, this is wrong. He never waited for the EGT to peak. And now he's pushing assist and there's a little bit of confusion of what's happening, what the numbers are showing. And then he, the temperature is right now 1460. And then he goes ahead and pushes assist. And let's see what he does. He's watching the RPM, the EGT, and then he starts to enrich him. Well, guess what? If you start to enrich him, the temperature is going to go down. The EGT peaked, but that's not true. It just went down. Why? Because he caused a fake peak. So right now, the blue brick showed up. It's showing his minus 14 degrees on the rich side. And now he's going to start to lean again, which makes no sense. And guess what? The delta peak will show positive. If you ever see a positive delta peak, it means you leaned wrong. It's impossible to get hotter than the highest EGT. So now he's leaning, and it has a positive indication. Well, he needs to go to minus 75. But right now, everything was done incorrectly, because he went by RPM and not by EGT temperatures. So watch what he's trying to do here. Okay, so now he's enriching. There's going to be excess fuel. The temperature will drop. The EGT blue brick showed up at about 1430 because that's the fake peak he created. And now he's going to go to minus 75 from 1430 and that should yield him about 1355 on the EGT. And he's almost to minus 75 and you can see the EGT is 1355 and the fuel flow is 8.5. So the pilot on the left here will start this uh, leaning procedure again. Notice, you don't have to go full rich to reset a leaning procedure. All you have to do is turn the assist key off, lean, and as the temperature, as the EGT goes up, it's safe to push assist. So whenever you want to restart a procedure, don't go full rich. All you have to do is get towards, you know, 1400 uh, degrees Fahrenheit EGT and then you can start over. So EGT is going up, the assist key was reselected, and he's going to lean slowly because, you know, towards 1450, 1460, you know you're reaching the highest EGT possible for that day. So we're just going to watch as the EGT rises the fuel flow is reducing obviously and the less excess fuel you have the hotter this mixture will get and there's going to be a point where the temperature will eventually come down that means you're on the lean side of peak and now you're cooling because there's excess air and also notice the RPM still has not dropped much. Uh, the EGT here is already, you know, 40, 50 degrees higher than what the other pilot thought peak was. So there it is, 1490, 1495. You notice that it's not rising as fast anymore. The RPM should drop here in a second. And there it is, we lost about 20 RPM, and there it is. I'm freezing on the screen just to make sure we understand what just happened there. 1500 was the highest temperature we reached. That was stoichiometric. Now we went over to a little bit too much air 
for too little fuel. So the mixture now will start to cool because the excess fuel is gone. We have fuel but too much air and the temperatures will start to drop. So if I, if I was to continue to lean, that negative 8 will become negative 12, 13, 20, 30, 40, but the engine is going to start to get rougher and rougher. Uh, Cessna does not want you on the lean side of peak. Some six-cylinder engines that are fuel injected are approved to be on the lean side because they have specific inject injectors called gammy injectors that allow you to be on the lean side safely. But notice as we're going to start to enrich and that negative 8 is going to transition to negative 11, 12 on the rich side and that transition is very smooth but you have to understand why did it go down on the lean side and why is it going to go down on the rich side. Now we'll be enriching. Notice how that transition from minus 8 on the lean side to minus 9 on the rich side was very smooth. I didn't I didn't lean very slow so it didn't go back to peak. I shot straight across. Now we're in the rich side and we're enriching. Make sure you do that extremely slow when you get closer to minus 75. Otherwise you'll be chasing that all day. And we're gonna freeze the frame here once it gets about minus 75, 74 or so. And we're gonna do some comparison. So you can see the top pilot there is indicating an AGT of 1355 and delta peak of minus 74 and a gallons per hour of 8.6. Look at the bottom pilot. He's also showing a delta peak of minus 74, but look at his fuel flow. So something is wrong here. So you can see that the top pilot, because he leaned in correctly, the brick showed up way too early because that pilot pushed the assist key and he started enriching, and the G1000 did its job, which was to show the brick when the EGT went down. And look at the pilot on the bottom. His brick is indicating there, and if you sum uh, 1425 with that 75, the guy on the bottom actually reached peak of 1500. So this is almost a gallon difference between uh, these two pilots. So make sure you understand, you have to go slow as you get closer to 1450, 1480, because you know you're about to reach peak. So I hope this video helped you all, all you guys to see uh, one of the common errors that happens which is going too fast.